Hi folks, welcome to Chief Kirk Outdoors. Wishing everybody a Merry Christmas. This is Christmas Eve, and I thought I'd run out and do a little quick video. Uh, <clears throat> got to start with a mail call, and I got a couple here that, uh, that I've had for a couple of days. This one came from Let me show you the card first. Isn't that pretty? I like that. Jingle bells. Wishing warm Christmas with happiness and love. Merry Christmas, Chief Kirk. From Tommy and Rita, open air fish market. Isn't that beautiful? I like that. Thank you, Tommy and Rita. I appreciate that. God bless you. This one comes from my sweetheart Donna, my sister, and I love her writing. I absolutely love her writing. Isn't that neat? She has a real talent for that. And the card says Merry Christmas on the front. And it says, wishing you every joy at this wonderful time of year. I thank God for his Christmas, for the gift of Jesus and the blessings and gift of your friendship. And yours means a lot to me too, sis. Thank you so much. So, while I'm out here, I'm gonna do a little fire. It doesn't ho hardly feel like Christmas out here because it's about pretty close to 60 degrees right now. But what I'm gonna do is different today. I get to burn up some of my shredded bills. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to take a piece of char cloth. Now, this is old char cloth here. I'm going to put that in there. As one of my heroes, Dominic Minichetti, says, I won't be stingy with it. Now, I'm going to take this piece, and I'm going to do something totally different. I wish I could say this was my idea, but it wasn't. I saw one of my buddies on here do it, but for the life of me, I can't remember which one. I don't know if it was Dominic or who did it, but most of you folks know what this is. And of course I know what it is. It's a striker for an acetylene torch. And I got to thinking, I saw somebody do it, but I was just thinking, what if I laid that right in there like that and put a spark on it if it wouldn't work in place of a ferro rod? Now, you know a ferro rod will do it in a heartbeat. Also, uh, flint and steel. But I'm gonna strike this. See if I can get it to strike that. And it did. Right there it is. So, I'm gonna put this in here with my other piece and see if we can get some flame.
We got flame. All right. Burn the baby's fingers. I can tell that that paper <laughs> I could tell the paper was a little bit damp because look at all this smoke that's coming off of it. Paper don't normally smoke like that. But this sits in my basement and it gets damp, so. <laughs> but that feels good, folks. So, with that, I'll say Merry Christmas to you. I hope Santa's good to you. God bless you. Don't forget, tell somebody you love them. They may not be here tomorrow. Oh, and by the way, if you've got elderly neighbors or friends who don't have anybody that they can spend Christmas with, this can be a very depressing time of year. Give them a call. If they don't have anything planned, invite them over. Welcome them. Give them a hug. Feed them a little bit. Make them feel wanted. They will appreciate it. God bless you.